Creating a new quantitation method using multi-quant software is very easy and offers you lots of levels of control over the integration parameters for your quantitative analysis. This short video will demo how you can create a quantitation method in multi-quant software from your acquired data set. To get started in multi-quant, select File, New Quantitation Method. You will first need to select a representative data file to use to create the method. This will typically be one of the mid-range calibration standards for your batch. Here we will select our 1 nanogram per milliliter standard. Multiquant will pull the information from the analyst acquisition method, including the names of each analyte, the MRM transition information, and the scheduled retention time. If you'd like to assign an internal standard, you can also do that here by checking the IS box next to the internal standard compound, then fill that information into the IS name column. We can also set up analyte groups here. The benefits of setting up analyte groups is to enable you to group multiple MRM transitions for a single compound for more efficient data review. Setting up groups can be easily done if you have your acquisition method created with your quantifier MRM transition identified as compound name 1 and your qualifier MRM transition identified as compound name 2 in sequential order as we do here. To set up these groups, right-click on the Group column and select Groups. Since we have two MRM transitions per compound and they are listed alphabetically in order, we can select to group using constant group size. We will choose to set up two components per group, since we have two MRM transitions for each compound, and offset between groups by every one row. Multiquant then assigns each component to the appropriate group based on the compound name of the first transition. Next, we can select the Integration and Regression tab and review the integration and regression parameters for each MRM transition. Multiquant does an excellent job of integrating chromatographic peaks and often requires very little manual integration adjustments. You can use the down arrow to scroll through to review each analyte. We will also review our regression parameters. For this method, we are using linear fits with 1 over x weighting based on the peak areas. We can also adjust the concentration units reported for our analytes in this window. Making changes to the peak integration parameters is also very easy. For example, when we review chlortetracycline, some additional baseline noise is included in the integration. This can be adjusted by selecting the retention time range of the peak to be included in the integration and adjusting the integration parameters. For example, if we want to change the peak splitting factor, here we will change it from 2 to 0, then click Apply, and the integration will update automatically. Once you've reviewed all of the integration parameters, select File, Save As, and Save the Quantitation Method, and you're ready to start quantitation for your datasets.